two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Uh, 48 hour challenge. It's basically just a 48 hour film festival. They gave us an assignment basically and we had to fulfill it in 48 hours. You have to write it, you have to record it, you have to edit it and turn it in within 48 hours. They give us certain guidelines to go through or go by though and it's kind of like depending on what they give you it could be a doozy but you get a prompt and that prompt contains just some some things like it'll have a genre for your film. Uh, ours was action and adventure, um, but we didn't get comedy, so we lucked up. We had to use somebody named Red Path or Bob Red Path, but mm -hmm. not disrespect Bob. We had to um, use goggles too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No idea how we were supposed to use the goggles, so we threw them on somebody, and and then for our line it was I need to tie my shoe, so we just had to be able to do it within those uh, 48 hours. So day one was pretty stressful, but once we got the prompt, it was, I wouldn't say smooth sailing, but it was a lot easier. And I mean, we just went right into it. So it was very much one of those, we got our prompt and we were all so excited to start spinning out those ideas. We spent like the first two, three hours like writing. And we were just, maybe it wasn't even three hours, but we were just writing and then just getting advice from everyone what we should add in there and how to get it smoothly. And we kind of got the story down quicker than I expected, to be honest. We ended up on the topic of hide and seek. I realized it was kind of a, an odd story, playing hide and seek for an action adventure film. But I think we made it work, absolutely. I think like everybody was just so excited to get it done and to like, if anything, everybody be in one place and do it. We kind of like, at the end, we was just like more so celebrating rather than yeah. like doing our walk. There was definitely a little bit more that we could have did on the first day. Yeah. I think we could have like definitely taken advantage of the extra time on day one. I think we underestimated the, um, like the stresses and just like the tight, like, uh, like picture of like, I guess, uh, the limit of time. You know, there's, there's like Murphy's Law that what can go wrong will go wrong. Obviously, day two was a bit rough. Um, we didn't get a great start. This was probably the pinnacle of that for me over this entire film festival. Well, I think we're all gonna... I think I'll address the elephant in the room. Our director slept in, all cozy in his bed. <sighs> I think that was one... I think that was the most stressful part, you know, um, of the whole weekend, to be honest. Day two, other than that, I think it went pretty well. We did, everybody did some of everything. Uh, everybody had parts in camera and editing or like in, uh, I guess like holding uh, audio and whatnot, like, you know. Um. That was a day of mainly learning, you know, stepping back, learning the controls on the camera, learning white balance. Throughout the day, we were editing the script on the fly, like the actors were, we were um, the camera operators. Um, yeah, we were sun up to sun down that day. I'm surprised at how composed everyone was, because I thought you guys would have been more stressed than you were, to be honest. When we think we're done, everybody needs to get together, double check, have a meeting, whatever. Like, are Is you done? Are you we sure can... we're done? Yeah, you feel me? Okay, um, we are done. And then we move forward to the next yeah. subject, rather than like, all right, you good, you good, let's play video games. I think we overall did a pretty good job uh, day two. But again, at the end of the day, we started editing, but I think everyone was tired and we were like, oh, like it won't be that bad. So it, it didn't set us up the be in the best place we could have been for day three. It was a time crunch. 
really. Like, it would have probably been a lot smoother if it wasn't such a time crunch. Yeah. Day three was more stressful than like the rest of the days. Cause it was just like, we walked in, I think everybody was just like, what? <laughs> like, it was just kind of like, what, what are we, or not what are we doing, you know what I mean? Cause everybody had their assignments, but I guess like sticking to those assignments. So. I think I was just ready for it to be over. I was ready for the production to just be out um, and submitted. So we kind of like had a morning and a half, um, the final day, and at the last minute we kind of like realized, oh wait, we still gotta add this, we gotta add this, yeah. we gotta add this, and then it was like, all right. <laughs> we just yeah. turned it in just to make the day. Yeah, so. day three was definitely all about like sacrifices. Yeah. <laughs> it's we have like good audio, or like this clip is good. It's like, I feel like just watching y'all do it, it was like a lot of sacrifices that we had to make like in the last 30 minutes. It is what it is, we're doing our best. We're doing our best with like the time we have left to edit and everything. It was, uh, it was a struggle. But that's production too, though. Yeah. You know I mean, not take it away. It ain't always gonna work out. Like, you know, what I mean? everybody ain't always gonna agree. People gonna bump heads. Folks gonna be mad. But it is what it is. The final product was what it was. At the end of the day, I think a lot of things we could have changed. We made. I, I know somebody said we made a lot of rookie mistakes, which I think is very accurate for how it went. We got it done. It was submitted. Is our best work? No. Is anyone's best? Is, like Grace said, is anyone gonna put it in the portfolio? Probably not. But like I said, it was a learning experience. I'm very excited for the future projects that we're gonna do. And I'm very excited to learn from my upperclassmen and so so we can, you know, grow together and possibly, you know, meet each other in Hollywood in the future. Um, as much as I enjoyed it, I'm so glad it's over.